the page quick, Maddie. <laughs> what happens next? Okay, okay, Dada. Let's see. Look, because the girl can speak to animals, she's stepping right in front of that lion and saying, Please, all of you, go back to the forest and become friends again. And they listen. Look, they're all leaving. Maybe I can speak to animals like that girl did. <laughs> brr, brr, brr. Hello, birdie. Tweet, tweet, tweet. <laughs> <laughs> How are your baby birdies? Oh, want to come and say hello? Da da, wow! It, it worked! The bird listened to me. <laughs> I never knew I could speak to animals. I hear that bird sing in the morning. Now that I can talk to it, I'll ask it to sing for you all the time. Uh, come here, little bird! <sighs> da da, this reminds me of a painting I saw in my art book. It's a painting about this man named Francis. He loved animals and talked to them all the time. Da da, cool! Let's go see! Oh no, I forgot the <gasps> bird was on me! It can't get lost! It'll never find its way back home! <gasps> uh -oh. Hey, da da, look! You see the bird? Wow, these paintings are beautiful and so different from paintings you hang on the wall. It's painted right on the wall. <laughs> it must be fun to paint on walls. Dada, fun! Can we do that at home? <laughs> I don't think so, Dada. I wonder what these paintings are about. That's the painting in my book. So that must be Francis. He's in each of the paintings. It kind of reminds me of a comic book. I think the pictures are telling a story. And you are <laughs> right. Welcome, my friends to the Basilica of San Francesco d'Assisi. I see you stumbled into a mess. Sorry, we didn't see them. Oh, uh, we were looking for a lost bird. Not to worry, my friends. I am happy to have visitors. It takes a long time to do this work. Benvenuti. My name is Giotto. My name is Maddie, and this is Dada. We're artists, too. You like my frescoes, see? These are called uh, f frescoes? It is what we call painting on wet plaster. I show you. First, we make a smooth layer of plaster. Then, when the plaster is still wet, we make a quick drawing of what we want to paint. And then, we add the color. So everything dries together. Wow! And when it dries, it is part of the wall and beautiful. Did you see a little bird fly by? No, I haven't. Did you just finish your paintings? Um, I mean, frescoes about Francis? You know Francis? We know he talks to birds too, like I do. But that's all we know. Can you tell us more about him? See, si, see, si, for that is the very reason I have made my frescoes. To tell the story of Francis, who was a great man. Francis was born into a very rich family. But Francis did not want to be rich. He gave away everything he owned to the poor people. He wanted to help others. And some people thought he was very special indeed. Look, this man puts his cloak down so Francis won't step in a puddle and get his feet wet. I love this fresco. It looks like the people just walked out of those buildings. It reminds me of a stage when you go to see a play. That is because I am the first artist to use perspective. I did not paint the buildings or the people flat. The buildings look closer and farther, and you can see that they take up space. It looks like I could walk right in there. Perspective makes my paintings look more real. Maybe the bird's hiding on that balcony. But I don't see her anywhere. What's that fresco about? After Francis gave away everything he owned, he traveled by horse from town to town, going far and wide, helping people. And Francis meets that poor man on the road. And gives him his coat because the man was cold. Da-da, nice. See, he was very nice. He helped many, many people, and they were very grateful. <gasps> Hey, I hear birds! Birdie, are you there? Come with me. One day, on a journey, Francis saw many birds in a tree. 
He told his friends he wanted to stop to speak with the birds. Everyone thought the birds would fly away, afraid. But no, the birds flew down and listened to Francis. Just imagine the surprise of his friends. And from that day, Francis talked to the animals, all kinds of animals. They became his friends. The way your frescoes tell a story remind me of pictures in a comic book, with each picture showing different parts of the story. I have not seen a comic book, but I am sure I would like them too. I think the bird is lost. What if she flew out a window? We have to get her back home. Signorita Da, did you not say that you can speak to the birds, like Francis? Yeah, Da Da. Da Da, wow, okay. Birdie! <coughs> Little birdie, it's time to go! <laughs> Thanks, Senor Giotto, for telling us about Francis and for showing us your wonderful frescoes. And for helping to find the bird. It was my pleasure. Goodbye! Adios! Da da, bye bye! Da da, you'll never guess what I've drawn. It's going to be a big surprise! Finished! Here it is. You'll never guess. It's a comic book of our adventure with Giotto! How did you guess? A little birdie told me. It was fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the story about Francis was so good. A da da tastic day. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yes!